In this video, we'll show how to brute force a USB keylogger's unlock code using the Teensy. First up, let's grab the code out of the GitHub repository. Just use git clone https github.com slash open security research slash USB keylog crack. Now we'll just enter the code directory. And the very first thing we'll need to do is modify the make file. Uh, do a quick search for Teensy and we'll have to make sure that we set the Teensy loader CLI variable to the appropriate path where the Teensy loader CLI utility is set um, on your system. Once we have that set, just do make all. Then physically insert the Teensy into your USB port and press the reset button so it enters in its half K bootloader. Now run make program and make will call Teensy loader to actually program the Teensy. Uh, and the Teensy is all ready to go. On the system, we'll also want to use the HID listen utility, uh, which will allow us to see all the debug messages that are coming from the cracker. So it's pretty simple, just run HID listen, and it'll wait for you to connect the Teensy. So now we'll just plug the Teensy into our USB keylogger, and then plug the USB keylogger uh, and the Teensy all together uh, into the system. When it does, we'll see a, a message here from our debugging, so we'll get the listening and we'll get the found zone investigated services message and you should see that the uh, unlock code is starting to be brute forced. I picked a kind of easy unlock code for the sake of this demo um, but you can get an idea of about how fast it runs. You can see the HID listen program lost communication with the Teensy and that's because we guessed an unlock code and the keylogger is actually remounting itself as a storage device. So we can see it's log.txt where it contains all of the actual data um, that it was logging from the keyboard. Um, and you can even look at the configuration file there so we can see the actual unlock code that uh, we brute force. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.